Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here and today I'm coming with another The 100 Day Project inspired by 7 Plus uh, YouTube channel and uh, today uh, um, we are going to create embellishments. A little things you can add to your journals and you can decorate with these little thingies uh, your journal pages, your pockets in the journals, any kind of openings or tags. It doesn't have to be used just for journals. It can be used also on birthday cards or, or Christmas cards. I'm using uh, for my challenge newspapers from the start. There is already few videos you can watch where I used uh, newspapers. I'm looking on my newspapers with brand new perspective and I see so many possibilities. So if you are a beginner and if you want to do your junk journal and you don't have too many supplies, you just go to buy newspapers. You can find anything you need in newspapers, embellishments, decorative parts. You can create from newspaper, your pockets, openings, maybe frames for your journal. And that rest, of course, you will need some blank paper and add it as your journaling pages. But any embellishments, any kind of decorative part you can find in newspapers. So today uh, we're going to create from newspapers or embellishments, a little embellishments. I already cut out a few from my newspapers and I'm going to show you what you can find in newspapers. I was quite surprised when I found this uh these images uh, this is kind of like a color smoosh <laughs> and on that it's name of the city and i really love them this will be perfect for grungy journals in football section there was what was happened many years ago so if i will cut it on pieces years ago then i will cut off fussy cut out number 46 uh, then i will fussy cut out maybe this date and then i will split 19 and 77 split them off to use it even in older journal or you know imagine imagination journal i will have beautiful embellishments with numbers then i found this one good housekeeping institute <laughs> it's so beautiful then many newspapers has zodiac sign. So I do have here these zodiac signs, these circles which do have beautiful, uh, beautiful vectors. Something like this can be perfect embellishment in your journal. So I do have already fussy cut out from my newspapers even numbers like this from my newspapers i do have fussy cut out few images which you can use look at this i do have number 40 if i will reinforce it with something and then use my uh, circle punch to punch it out it will be perfect embellishment so i'm gonna be digging even more today but i think we're gonna start with this Look at this, top swap, even for a swap, you can find <laughs> some beautiful, uh, beautiful embellishments or this one. It's in advertis uh, advertisements section in newspapers, all kind of little, little titles or, you know, little thingies. And the most, what is perfect for making embellishments is puzzles and sudoku and stuff like that in your newspapers because they all have you know uh, pattern background they all have some kind of little uh, little thingies you can use for creating small embellishments these can be used or even the names of those puzzles and uh, you know sudoku they can be fussy cut out and use as your embellishment and look at it's plenty of them. This circle, that could be perfect embellishment for your journal, maybe for some grungy one. So go to have a look. If you are a beginner, this is perfect where you should start. You will be not too much stressed that you will ruin some designer's, pa designer's paper. And with newspaper, it's just perfect to work. So I do have here my little bunch of uh, fussy cut fussy cutted images <laughs> and, and now i'm gonna reinforce them with any kind of other paper so just 
to show you what you can use. This is old shopping bag. Here I do have book page and here I do have pieces from uh, uh, some old craft uh, envelope which came with some items I ordered. Any kind of these packaging can be used to reinforce your images and then depends of what effect you would like to have. You will glue your images. Here I did fussy cut. I want to have this like my, my embellishment but I did fussy cut out around because I didn't know what exactly uh, I will want to do with this. So it depends what kind of effect or uh, look you want to have. You will be fussy cutting your images. You can fussy cut out this way and then just glue it. Maybe just slightly smaller. You know, to glue it on your paper. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will fussy cut out just that square. But here I would like to have this and this separate and I would like to have around that brown paper. So with this image what I will do, I'm going to fussy cut out just exactly the image itself and then glue it on my paper. I can apply the glue here. grab my image and place it on my cardstock and leave there leave there kind of like small frame around and then once the glue is dry I'm gonna be fussy cutting the image with that small frame also with that small frame also on this and this side I'm gonna let this dry with the circles, uh, I'm gonna be all, I'm always kind of trying fussy cut out uh, square around because then I can use my circle punches and try my circle punches if any of them will fit this size of the image and then just punch it out from the paper. It's much better that way for me because uh, my fussy cutting. <laughs> It's a little bit crazy. <laughs> I rather use my paper punches and with this I can make beautiful embellishment. So it depends of what you would like to have. If you would like to have the brown edge around your image, you will need to fussy cut it out exactly here I'm gonna just cut between images this I can glue straight away and then use my circle punch and this one I'm gonna try to fussy cut out exactly glue it on my uh, cardstock and then fussy cut out around with the edge from the brown paper. So here I do have a little small piece of newspaper. And I'm just gonna place it the edge here and I'm gonna keep there just a small amount just a small amount of that brown paper so then I can kind of leave just a small amount brown paper around this these sides and that way I will have beautiful embellishment same is with this one. I would like to have that brown frame around. So I'm going to fussy cut out this little number exactly as it is. So again, I glue it uh, with small gap from the edge and I also left kind of bigger gap between these two images because I need to think that I would like to have this frame here as well on the top of this image and I would like to have 
frame all around of this image as well. So to leave their gap big enough so I can have the brown image around both of these images. I hope that makes sense. If I know that I will make kind of like uh, clusters or uh, toppers, uh, I'm using this strong but not too heavy uh, paper. If I know that uh, they will be kind of like main point maybe on the side of, of the paper, of the journal page, and I would like to have them stronger or maybe I would like to use them as a dangle, then I'm using this uh, heavier cardstock. And I am working here on my little collection of embellishments. I already used circle punch and as you can see I do have different sizes of circle punches. That's perfect to have if you would like to do uh, journal, junk journals because you can use them all uh, in different la layers. Like here I punched these images I think with this circle If I and then if I will want to make kind of underlaying I'm gonna grab a bigger circle punch the circle from different color paper and glue these ah I need even bigger one this one was which I used actually <laughs> so I'm gonna take bigger one punch the circle and then I can glue these two together and I will have really cute embellishment. I'm gonna do it straight away. These are already reinforced and I also saved this one. It's from that zodiac signs and this can be used when you are making clusters. It can be used like background embellishment. It looks cute on journal pages. It makes decorative element on your June pages so any kind of off cuts which looks amazing like this one can be used and now just glue these two together and you do have pretty cute embellishment for your journals and same is with these cutouts from um, from those puzzles as you can see when they are backed with uh, some beautiful old a uh, book page they can be used in layouts or in clusters and I didn't even cut out the book page I just rip it off on pieces around newspaper paper or newspaper images so I do have reinforced these and I'm just gonna cut out the frames around and with this easy work I'm gonna create my little embellishments. Just try to keep kind of similar frame all around. And this one I can keep with the red frame around as well. So if I will want so, I'm gonna cut this way probably. And I do have nice embellishments for my layouts. So any kind of these uh, newspaper images, especially these small ones, would be perfect for creating decorative elements for your journals, for your diaries, even for cards. Maybe you have someone in your family who likes football so cut out what was from football oh this one these were from uh, that football past uh, there were you know uh, what was happened in the past in the football at, at some day so I do believe uh, if you will fussy cut out this plus maybe some football team uh, team name and some of these small images you can put together a really beautiful uh, birthday card and it will don't cost you too much just a little time 
and some creative spirit and you can create amazing things. With this 40 number that was with some football uh, matches, you can just have a look which kind of a circle punch will uh, go beautifully around the image like this one. It's catching not just the number, but also the circle around. That's perfect size of circle punch. So I'm gonna use that. Kind of try to place that circle in the middle. And look what I just got. Amazing embellishment. So go to have a look. I'm telling you, since I started to use these newspapers for this 100 days challenge or 100, day, 100 days project, I'm looking on my newspapers <laughs> with a totally new perspective and I love it so much what you can create from newspapers. Also in our local shop they do love it because I'm there every single day now <laughs> for newspapers <laughs> which is perfect for you know for newspaper business so go to check your shops what kind of newspapers will be best for you? Support newspaper business. And I'm gonna continue with my hunt for a treasure. Another one. And another one. And this is my little embellishment collection which I created today. I love them all. And I know I'm gonna dig in into my newspapers even more and do this collection much, much bigger. Because in the end, I can use all of these little thingies to decorate my journal pages, to decorate my journals. Or I can decorate with these tags, envelopes, anything I will want. And they do look beautiful already now. And I didn't use any distress ink. I just use that newspaper. The newspaper gives to your images kind of vintage vibe and that's perfect because you don't have to do uh, too many other, you know, decorations around. If you would like to create something a little bit more on them, use Distress Ink and Distress all these little embellishments. I'm going to keep them as they are now uh, because uh, I will put those finishing touches once I know what kind of journal I would like to use them for. So this is my little collection. I do have saved also this strip here because I do believe it will look amazing maybe on the side of the page. This is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you will try something uh, to do with your newspapers because I'm telling you it's so much fun to be hunting for <laughs> treasure images in your newspapers. Try it, really try it. I do enjoy this this kind of hunt for do something from nothing so much. If you will try something like this and if you will create your own uh, little embellishments from newspapers, please tag me. I, I really would like to see what your newspapers are offering what kind of images you found and what you did with them because I'm telling you, it, it's really so much fun. So this is all my sharing for today. Uh, I have to say I'm, I'm so happy I kind of uh, joined Margaret from Seven Plaza with this awesome challenge. It kicked my imagination and creativity so much. So much. I didn't even... Uh, ex expect that that it will be so huge kicking to my creativity this hunting for treasure this hunting for amazing images this uh, thinking how I can use them you know th that thinking of the process what I will do with the, with the newspapers it's perfect it's perfect to uh, be creative to think out, out of the box and to, to do something uh, in the short time. So that's all my sharing for today. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you haven't seen my videos, which I did till now, I will put link down below. I'm starting to put together all these uh, videos, what I made from newspapers. It will be in, what is the right word? In the playlist.
that's the right word. So link will be down below. Thank you so much to all of you for all your amazing support. <laughs> and if you do join this this challenge, please tag me. I really would like to see what you are creating and share that with your friends because this is perfect as a practicing for any kind of, you know, for any kind of techniques and for thinking creative. Okay, that's all what I think I wanted to say. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.